Hi, folks. I'd like to welcome you to Buzz on Business. Uh, my name is Mary Ann Bauer, and I have Bauer Funeral Home in Valley City. But I would like to, the most important person to introduce our guest for the day is uh, Kevin Dunn, who is a judge with the Medina County Probate and Juvenile Court. Welcome, Kevin. How are you today? I'm doing great, Mary. Mary Ann, appreciate you uh, inviting me on the program and uh, happy to uh, talk to the folks here for the uh, Medina, Northern Medina County uh, Chamber of Commerce. Very good. Well, could you tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Okay, I grew up in Medina, um, just a couple blocks off the square. My dad was the Parks and Recreation Director in Medina. My mom taught school. I have an older sister. I went off to college in Miami of Ohio, got my undergraduate degree there, my law degree then from Akron, and I started working in uh, Brunswick, Ohio for Bob Tinnell, and then went on my own uh, for 22 years and got elected judge and have been in here for starting my second full term, and it's been a great experience here at the probate and the juvenile court. Oh, very good. Well, you kind of answered to ask you what about your business, but what part is, what do you enjoy the most of your work? I know there's Pros and cons, of course, but very good. Sure. Sure. Uh, I have a, a bipolar day. Uh, part of my day is de dealing with juvenile delinquents, uh, de uh, ne neglected, uh, dependent, abused children. I then do probate matters, guardianships, estates, and I do adoptions. And I'd say that probably the most enjoyable uh, part of my job are adoptions, uh, putting a child in a family forever and seeing a family go forward. And we do a lot of adoptions actually in Medina County because we have two adoption agencies here. So you don't have to be a resident of Medina uh, if you are adopting a child. If you're using one of these two agencies, they bring a lot of work through our court. Well, that's wonderful for families that cannot have but still can share that love and you know, care for some youngster. That's good. Yeah. What is the age roughly of a, an adoption? Are they infants or, I mean, they, there's a range, I'm sure. We have uh, all the way, you can even do adult adoptions, which are kind of funny too, where a person will name someone, designate them kind of as their heir. Uh, we do a, a lot of infants. It usually takes the person has to be, a child has to be placed in a home for a minimum of six months. So it's usually six months to a year to finalization after a child's placed in a home before uh, the child can actually be formally adopted. And we used to do all these in person. Um, and now we're doing a bunch of the hearings via Zoom. So I have people all over the globe. Uh, I did one and I had people uh, logging in from the Philippines, grandparents and things like that to be able to see the child. I also have a group uh, that I adopted a child before about seven years ago, and they're adopting another child, and they insist on coming in in person uh, to the court and having their, their hearing done here. We used to do a big show. We, we'd uh, you know, give the, the children teddy bears. The, if there were other children in the family, they got candy, and it was a big celebration at the conclusion of the adoptions. And I think they're coming back for that experience, which I'm really pumped about. It's really pretty cool. Yeah, that would be kind of neat with this COVID. That's kind of changed the ways that you've been working, but still you've been able to function. That's the most important. Yeah, we, we haven't skipped a beat. Uh, we keep the juvenile side open. We've seen the juvenile cases decrease uh, pretty dramatically because the school's being closed and so many kids going online schooling. So uh, our the, amount of the, the changes in the types of charges and things that we've had come through the court have been a little bit different. On the probate side, uh, our numbers have gone really higher because that's the type of work that attorneys can do from their office. They can do mailings out to their clients, signatures, that kind of stuff. And as you're aware, Marianne, running a funeral home, we've had a lot of deaths uh, during the last several months. And so we're processing all of those estates as well, too. And on our end, we're in the process. Uh, they're going to start, I think, construction, breaking ground on a new courthouse. And uh, that'll be an exciting aspect that we'll get a new uh, courthouse built. And we're also putting a new case management service uh, programming, uh, computerization for our uh, updating our equipment. And ultimately, the common police court to uh, Judge Kimbler, Judge Collier's courts are going to be upgraded as well. So we're very much uh, uh, happy about that. And uh, we, we get to be a kind of a cornerstone. A lot of individuals get to touch us. Uh, I enjoy being a member of the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I was a, a member of Medina's. I was on the board at one time when I was in private practice. And now we get to, I'm in Wadsworth, Brunswick, uh, the Northern Medina uh, Chamber, as well as Medina's Chamber too. And it's just great to be able to work with businesses and see the people out there and kind of see the, the about the, their needs and items like that that maybe we're able to assist and help with. Well, 
I think it's great too that you know the progress that's being made in Medina County, but also the, the fact that, that you are out in the uh, society. I mean, you're out in the community with sharing with us. We appreciate that. Yeah, we we enjoy it uh, immensely, and you know you the the business aspect is a big part of our audience. We want to have good kids come out. We want to make good uh, members of our community. We want our community loves kids and wants them to be successful. So we kind of uh, feed on that a little bit and try to provide those kids back as a good workforce and a good support for children moving forward, as well as adults as well. So we have a really neat court. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to just reach out and contact me. I'm not that hard to get in touch with. Uh, I, I agree. I agree. You are easy to contact. So on behalf of the Northern Medina County Chamber, Kevin, thank you for being with us today and we'll be right back.